Hello friends, I am Anvesha and I welcome all of you to this channel, Aspiring Banker Anvesha. I have cleared IDPS PO 2020 and uh, at present I am working as a probationary officer. Uh, so let's start the video. Now here I am going to tell you the top reasons why you are not able to clear bank exams. I have also done these mistakes and I have seen many students making these mistakes. An academy is going to conduct ultimate strategy day where an academy educators will explain how to clear the various banking exams. The sessions will be on 13th March and uh, the sessions will be conducted between 9 am and 1 pm. So here you can see the sessions will be conducted by Ashok Sirohi sir, Suraj Yadav sir, Sakshi Goswami ma'am, Arvind Kundara sir and Mankit Kumar sir. Uh, please use the coupon code Annie for enrolling A N N I E Annie. The link is given in the description box. So if you want to subscribe to an academy iconic, then don't forget using the coupon code Annie because this coupon code will give you 10% discount on the price. Also, if you want to subscribe to an academy plus, please use the coupon code Annie for a 10% discount. So if you want to prepare in a structured way, then this is the platform because there are many practice sessions, there are many concept sessions, everything you will get in one place. So don't forget to subscribe to an academy plus using the link in the description box. The first one is watching too many strategy videos. So you don't need to watch too many strategy videos uh, by every educator, by every YouTuber. Just watch one strategy video, one or two videos and then devise your own strategy because every person, every student has to have different strategies, okay? You cannot just copy anyone's strategy and succeed, right? Now, the second point is many of you are not following daily targets. So you should have daily targets and weekly targets and you should strictly follow them you should complete your daily and weekly targets otherwise you will lose track okay so every day in after waking up write down the target for that day okay and then at night just uh, look at your targets and see how how much have you completed how much could you complete in that way you you will be able to introspect okay and you can improve yourself okay you can improve your preparation the third point is not maintaining consistency. So uh, on one particular day, you're studying for 11 hours and then you don't study for the next two or three days. This is very bad, really very bad. You should study every day in moderation. Don't study too much on a single day. Okay, in, in that way you will get tired and um, you will lose your motivation. No need of studying 12 or 13 hours every day. Fine. You study for uh, moderation, 6 to 7 hours every day, but study every day. Maintaining this consistency is very, very important. The fourth point is not attempting mains test series, mains mock test. So uh, for your prelims, you attempt many mock tests, but for your mains, you don't attempt mock tests. This is very wrong. You should attempt mock tests for your mains exam as well. Okay. Now, the next point is you tend to neglect your weaker sections. Like you should identify um, which section you are weak in. Okay, after attempting a, an exam, suppose you take SBIPO prelims examination, SBIPO mains examination. After looking at your scorecard, you will be able to analyze which sections you are weak in. Now for your next examination, you should focus on that particular section. Your focus will be on every section, but for that particular section, your focus will be a little more. You will have to work hard for that section. This is very important. If you don't do this, you will not be able to succeed. Now, the next one is uh, for your English section, I'll say you are focusing too much on vocabulary. Now, uh, if you read newspaper every day, that is enough. You, if you read editorials every day, that is enough. You don't need to memorize vocabulary separately because in your bank exams, you really don't get too many difficult words. You might get vocabulary questions, but not too many. So you don't need to waste your time on memorizing words. 
just read editorials and just learn the difficult words from the editorial that is enough the next one is neglecting current affairs now uh, many of you think that after your prelims you will cover all the current affairs but believe me that is really not possible you have to uh, you have to read current affairs regularly otherwise they will get piled up and you will not be able to cover them and regarding current affairs one more mistake that many of you tend to do is just studying the one liners now um, the era of one liners is gone it was still 2016 17 but now bank exams uh, have uh, ipps ipps and sbi have really gone deep into current affairs so reading one liners is not going to suffice so i'll ask you to follow either affairs cloud or kapil katpalsar's videos okay they uh, teach you in depth and you will be able to score in your current affairs section the last one in my opinion is comparing yourself with others so uh, don't go for social media okay uh, like um, use facebook instagram but in moderation the key is uh, when in facebook you find someone happy you find someone earning a good amount you find someone leading a good life don't get jealous and don't compare yourself with that person okay this will lead to uh, demotivating yourself and you really don't want to do that during your preparation phase okay and uh, one more thing is that uh, to get overly anxious about when you will clear the exam because this will really lead to drop in your performance don't get overly anxious things will happen in course of time if you study hard if you study properly if you study smart you will definitely clear the exam so don't get over anxious and waste your time thinking uh, thinking on when will you clear the examination don't do that so these are uh, these are in my opinion the main reasons why you are not able to clear bank exams and these reasons uh, did contribute to my failures as well so thank you for watching goodbye